The home Melissa Koenig raised her family in is out of reach, literally. Nearly a year after Superstorm Sandy pummeled her Union Beach, New Jersey neighborhood, the elevation project to help save the house from future storms is still not finished. The Koenigs now reside in a small trailer in the front yard, frustrated by the slow response from their insurance company. Why are we not getting what we paid into? And it's a struggle. The red tape, the paperwork is endless. It's endless. And it's just sometimes you just look at it and it's the same paperwork over and over again. The work continues only because the Koenigs supplement what little they have received from their insurer with their own money. The way the insurance company works, they give you a list of how much they think everything should cost. Well, you know, to them, a piece of plywood only costs 98 cents. In reality, that's not the case. A short distance away, the pilings that propped up Jacobob's Bay restaurant are all that remains. The owners have reopened at a temporary spot, but they need the insurer to make good on the $2 million needed to rebuild. I never, ever, ever anticipated that I would be still struggling trying to figure out how to get the money to build. Many others in Union Beach have demolished their homes and left, too emotionally or financially drained to wait out the insurance payments. But in the rubble, Laguno Door saw an opportunity to salvage some of the deep ties to the community. The tables are damaged doors from the neighborhood offering customers a tangible memory of a community on the mend. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.